Hey there YouTube, so today I'm going to make a video just kind of showing you um, a little more in detail about the tools to use in the program GIMP to make bottle cap images, or at least that's what I use it most for. Um, I've had a lot of questions about how to duplicate images and you know how to better work the fuzzy tools and such. Um, I've decided to go ahead and attach screenshot images since my camera doesn't really focus very well and I can't really show you the small little details and what the buttons look like. So those uh, images will be attached into the video as well to give you a close, closer view of those buttons. Um, the first one, the first thing I'm going to do obviously is just show you how to open your little um, toolbars on the side like this one here. Uh, it's just the toolbar that holds everything you're going to need to use during the video. So the way to do that, you're going to go to the top where it says Windows and then right here it'll say Toolbox. Just click that and it'll open up your toolbox. And then right above that is also a selection called Dockable Dialogs. That's where you go if you need to open up the other box that I have right over here, my layers box, it'll be right there in your dockable dialog. So now that I've showed you how to open up that, I'm going to go ahead and open a picture to show you how to use some of the smaller tools, the crop tools and such. So I'm going to go ahead and open my photo. Okay, so the first tool I'm going to show you is one of the most simple ones, it's the crop tool. Um, I know other people might be familiar with these tools, but I've had a lot of questions just about the basics, so I'm going to go ahead and cover them all. So the first one is the crop tool. It's pretty simple. Um, say I only want this inside swirl to be in my picture instead of the full swirl. You just make a box over the area you want and then just click inside that box and it will crop your image. The second tool would be your move tool. And that one just is pretty self-explanatory as well. Just moves your images around. You may not need it right now for this image that I'm using, but when you make bottle cap images, you need to move your images sometimes. So that's a pretty important tool. The next one would be the scale tool. And that one is used to either enlarge or shrink your image. So I'm going to click my image. This little dialog box over here will pop up. You can adjust your image if you want it smaller. And you can actually see it scaling like on the screen from how big it used to be to how small it is now. Or you can make it bigger and you'll see a dotted line of how small it used to be versus how big it is now. And then just hit scale and it'll complete it. There we go. It's going to be your fuzzy select tool. And that's the tool that you use to get rid of a background. So I'm going to fill in this background here. And fill in a couple of lines here. So then if I wanted to fuzzy select all that black, I would select my fuzzy select tool, click the black area, and then I can just hit delete. And it will delete all those black areas that I made. That just helps you select um, the entire image where it has that one specific color that you click on and it will help you delete backgrounds or centers of images. Um, another tool that you will need probably um, when making bottle cap images would be your duplicate image. So there's my little heart. Um, if I wanted to make three of those going in one row, um, this is where the duplicate tool will come in handy. So 
So you just select your image. Okay, and then you're going to click on the duplicate image the number of times that you want the um, image to repeat. So I'm going to do it two times. And then I'm just going to come over here and move my little hearts into the different slots. Um, if you make too many and you want to delete one, then you can just also use this little delete layer button. As long as you make sure that you have it highlighted correctly over here, the layer that you want to delete. So after you've selected it, just go ahead and hit delete, and that little heart will go away. The last thing that I want to touch base on one more time is just the transparency. Um, if you're trying to remove the background from an image like this one shown, you need to make sure that the most important step that you do first is that once you've opened your image, like I have it here, you need to go to layer at the top of your screen, the tab layer, go down to transparency, and you need to add an alpha channel. That is the most important step to making your background transparent. Otherwise, when you delete the background, it'll all just change white. So if you add that transparency background, that alpha channel, use your fuzzy select tool to select the background that you want to delete, and hit delete. Once you do that, you'll see this checkered background behind your image. That's not actually a background, that just lets you know that the background is transparent. So then you can take this image and use it on all your other bottle cap images or anything else. If you have any other questions or need anything else explained or want any more tutorials, just leave it in the comment section below and I always try to respond as fast as I can. I'm not on YouTube every day, um, but I do try and get on as often as I can to check and make sure I keep you guys updated and informed. Bye guys, thanks.